What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and Super Smash Brothers is going to reach one of the most hype periods in this game's existence because in just eight days from now the fucking Smash Ballad is finally going to be concluded. Now there's a lot of things to take into account here. Will the ballot itself be revealed and all the you know runner-ups and the winner itself be revealed on the 3rd of October? Or is it going to be like the you can't put any more votes in on the 3rd of October and then afterwards, you know, maybe in like a month we'll find out what the results are. Or will we find out the results at all? Are they gonna have to have a trailer right there? There's so much excitement around this, and so many people wanted me to do something like this where I kind of follow up with the Smash Ballot. And so what I'm gonna be doing for the next eight days is just counting down similar to GCPM 11 and just get all the hype going around this because to be honest with you guys this is this is pretty much the biggest event in Smash history somebody that the fans chose is gonna be in the mall fucking game that is goddamn hype I'm ready for it and I know you guys are as well too one thing that I also wanted to do is that comment down below what character you want to be in the Smash ballot in the next countdown video, I'm going to have all of them in a straw poll, and then you can choose which character that you want, that you voted into the Smash Ballot, and then we can see from our own little Ethical World Network, you know, poll results, what the character is that we want to be in the game the most. From everywhere that I've been looking at, it seems like Shantae is kind of leading things, and I mean, it's not surprising considering how much hype was around the half-genie hero in the first place, but, um... I was looking at this fan poll also on uh, Reddit. I don't know how 100% legit this was because the amount of votes were somewhat small considering that, you know, it was Reddit on the Smash boards. But, um, no, not Smash boards, but, you know, it's on the Reddit page. I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of fan polls all over the fucking internet. But, I mean, we're going to be looking at all of these over the next eight days. We're going to be getting all information that corresponds to the Smash ballot and put it in videos like this. So, if there's any information that comes out, it's going to be separate and, you know, this little bit of a side series. And I feel like that'll be great because it'll help people to know exactly what the deal is with specifically the Smash Ballot. Because I feel like that's big enough information to have its own separate side series. So I mean, if we look at this fan poll, um, Shantae runs the whole thing. And we see Shovel Knight in second place, Wolf in third, Isaac in fourth, Snake in fifth, Sora from Kingdom Hearts in sixth. You don't really see too much of a King K. Rule up at the top. And a lot of you dudes need to remember that when we did our own um, straw poll on um, YouTube, King K. Rule didn't really make the cut, man. Shovel Knight beat him out by a ton more points. And I don't know. I mean, I, that's why I always said, even though the, the, the audience that's the loudest may talk really loud, they, they might just be the minority. And that seems like exactly what the case was with King K. Rule. And a lot of these ballots, it doesn't really seem like he's at top. But I mean, there may be some that I'm missing out on. So please inform me in the comments if I'm wrong or whatever. But... Yeah, I just want to announce this series today. There's going to be a lot of hype surrounding this thing, so I want to make sure that I'm on top of it. If there's any information, any news that you have in regards to the Smash Ballad in the future, please make sure to send me that shit on Twitter. Um, as I usually do on Twitter, I, uh, if I see an article that you send me, I'll link you in it, and um, therefore, you know, you can get some traffic to your shit as well, too. There's so much to look forward to with this whole thing. I just wish we had more of an idea of exactly what would happen, you know? Things seem a little bit too vague. And that's the way it's always been when handling the Smash Ballot. It seems like there's never really been too many details that floated up to the surface, other than the fact that, you know, there is somebody in first place, obviously, considering it's a ballot. You don't know how many characters are going to be taken from that ballot. And considering this, like, I, I thought in the beginning, Okay, the Smash Ballot can probably be an event that they hold every year, but will the results from the previous year change so much from the year that happens after? Like, I, I don't know. Like, if they do this in 2016, wouldn't the results pretty much be the same? Unless there's a revolutionary gaming character that takes the world by storm, um, the votes should pretty much be the same for, you know, consecutive years. So, I don't know. Maybe they can take multiple characters from this ballot, and I think that's definitely what's going to happen. As you all know, Daddy Sakurai likes throwing in an element of surprise when it comes to this stuff, man. That's just the way he is, and I have no doubt that we're going to get blown back when it comes to these ballot results. But, um, eight days left, man. Um, let me know in the comments as well what you think about... You know, what you think about what's going to happen? Like, what do you think in general is going to be the layout of how this information is portrayed? Um, who do you think is in first place? In terms of the ballot on my own end, I haven't really voted for anybody yet. And like I said, I'm pretty much leaning to Rayman. But, I don't know. Because I, 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 even though I really want to choose Rayman, at the same time, I don't want to put my vote in for somebody that's insignificant. Although, I guess my, my vote is insignificant at this point anyways. 
but still, I really want to vote Rayman, but if Shantae is in the lead, then I would want to vote Shantae, you know? So, I mean, I just want to make sure that my vote counts. Like, who knows? The ballot could have two people at the very top who we aren't even aware of, we don't even know who they are, that are, like, neck and neck. And, you know, I'd rather put my vote in for one of those guys to win, because obviously, at this point in the ballot, there has to be somebody in first place who's clearly dominant over the other people and i just don't want my vote to go to an insignificant party like i want to know who's in first place i want to know who's in second place i want to help get the hype going i wish that could be the case man i wish we could know who's in the top two spots so that way we can like direct traffic and it'll be like a competition over the next eight days that would be so intense but i mean either way guys comment below who you want to see in the smash ballot who you voted for in the smash ballot we're going to do our own little ballot here on the Etical World Network. We're going to have a poll going on. So tomorrow, when I do another one of these, we're going to have the fan poll with all the names that you voted. So if you go into the comments and you see somebody already posted the character that you voted for in the ballot, just give that shit a thumbs up so that way it can push that one to the top and I can know that one's going to be an entry into the, um, the EW Network poll that we're going to do tomorrow. Guys, there's so much hype around this. I'll talk to you in the next video. We got eight motherfucking days left, man. Let's get the hype rolling, my man. Let's get the hype rolling, my boy. Let's go, my boy. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Oh, fuck. <laughs>